video on creating a motion tween in Flash. A motion tween is when you take a symbol and you um, create a starting point and an ending point for it, and it transitions uh, and moves between that starting and ending point over a set number of frames. Um, to exemplify that, I will select the rectangle tool. Here I am with a single layer and an empty keyframe, uh, and I draw a black rectangle here in the top left. Now if I go to my keyframe, right click, and select Create Motion Tool, it tells me that it needs to be a symbol in order to create a tween. I say OK to that. Uh, and then here we are in the 24th frame. Notice how it created 24 frames for us to create our motion over. We can adjust that and make it 50 or any number we choose. But we'll keep it at 24, which would be one second of time. Uh, and then I can go to the Free Transform Tool, and I can move that object anywhere I would like on the stage and I'll choose the bottom right. When I do that, notice how a path shows up. A path being the path that the object's the symbol is going to take uh, from the beginning of the motion tween to the end of the motion tween. So right now it's occurring here and traveling along. So we'll take a look at that. Go back to the beginning, press enter. So over one second it moves along the path. Um, one other thing we can do uh, that's useful to know is we can, with the free transform tool, we can rotate the object in the top left corner there. Um, or we could also scale it so that it's larger. Right now it's going off of the stage, so that would be cut off if we were to export it, but for the purposes of our example it's okay. Um, so the object gets larger and rotates as we're moving along. Um, one other thing we can do is uh, we can move our cursor to say halfway uh, through the motion tween and we could take our object and just move it somewhere else and then our path will adjust and you can create as many points as you want um, so right now it's going to travel there to there and then over to there so we'll watch that um, and it, like I said at any point you could do that you could add another point here and sort of endlessly add points um, and that another interesting thing to note of that is so right now we're set to 24 frames, so this is occurring over one second. If I wanted it to occur over two, uh, roughly 50 frames, notice how the proportions of the, uh, the tween stay the same. So right now, this is about halfway, this is about three quarters. Um, if I go to 50, those proportions stay the same. This is now about halfway, and this is about three quarters. So if we watch that, it'll just be slower, but do roughly the same thing. Uh, and one last thing to note is if we go to the selection tool and we go to any one of these uh, path sort of lines, notice how we get this sort of quarter of a circle. That enables me to change the path from a straight line to a, a curved line. So I could do that at all these points if I felt like it. Um, that should be fine. And if we go back to the beginning, press enter, travels along that path.